Hello, and welcome to a beginner's guide to trading on Roblox. My name is Basenji and I'm here to help you get started in the exciting world of Roblox trading. Trading is an integral part of the Roblox experience, and it can be a lot of fun. Whether you're just starting out or you're an experienced trader, there's always something new to learn. In this video, we'll go over the basics of trading on Roblox and provide some tips and tricks for getting started. So, what is trading on Roblox? In short, trading is the process of exchanging one item for another with other players. This can be anything from virtual hats and gear to game passes and special items. Trading allows you to expand your virtual inventory and collect items that you may not be able to obtain otherwise. Now that you know what trading is, let's talk about how to get started. The first thing you'll need is a Roblox account. If you don't already have one, you can sign up for free at roblox.com. Once you have an account, you'll need to find other players to trade with. There are a few different ways to do this. Join a trading group. There are many groups on Roblox dedicated to trading, where you can connect with other traders and find people to trade with. You can search for trading groups by visiting the group directory on the Roblox website or by asking other players for recommendations. Just be sure to read the group's rules and guidelines before joining, as some groups may have specific requirements or restrictions. Trade with friends. If you have friends who play Roblox, you can trade with them directly. This is often the easiest and most reliable way to trade, as you know and trust the person you're trading with. Just make sure to communicate clearly with your friend and agree on the terms of the trade beforehand. Use the Roblox Marketplace. The Roblox Marketplace is a place where players can buy and sell items. You can browse the marketplace to find items you want to trade for, or list your own items for sale. The marketplace is a great way to find a wide variety of items, but be aware that there is a small fee for using the service. Now that you know how to find other players to trade with, let's talk about some tips and tricks for successful trading. Set a fair price. It's important to set a fair price for your items, based on their value and rarity. You can use resources like the Roblox Wikia or online trading forums to get a sense of what different items are worth. Don't try to overcharge for your items or ask for an unreasonable price. This will just turn off potential traders. Use a trusted middleman. When trading with someone you don't know, it's a good idea to use a trusted middleman to help facilitate the trade. A middleman is a neutral third party who can help ensure that the trade goes smoothly and both parties are satisfied. This can help protect both you and the other player from scams. You can ask other players for recommendations on trusted middlemen or use a well-known middleman service. Don't be afraid to negotiate. It's okay to negotiate the terms of a trade, especially if you're trading rare or valuable items. Don't be afraid to speak up and ask for what you want. Remember, trading is all about finding a mutually beneficial deal. Be patient. Trading can take time and you may not find the perfect trade right away. Don't be discouraged if it takes a while to find the right deal. Just keep looking and you'll eventually find something that works for you. You may have to make multiple offers or trades before you find the right fit, so don't get discouraged. Protect your account. Finally, be sure to protect your Roblox account and your personal information at all times. Don't give out your login information or personal details to anyone you don't know, and be wary of anyone who asks for them. Use a strong, unique password and enable two-factor authentication to help keep your account secure. Avoid scams. Be aware of common scams that target Roblox traders, such as phishing attempts or fake middlemen. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Use common sense and trust your instincts when trading on Roblox. Have fun. Trading on Roblox can be a lot of fun, so don't forget to enjoy the experience. Explore different trading groups and meet new people, and don't be afraid to try new things. You never know what kind of amazing trades you might make. I hope these tips and tricks have been helpful for getting started with trading on Roblox. Remember, trading is all about finding the right deal and being open to negotiation. With a little bit of patience and persistence, you'll be well on your way to building up your virtual inventory. Thanks for watching, and happy trading!